Hello and good morning to your forecast for the 22nd of October. I may well present the odd one or two. A few people have inboxed me. I, do, I don't have the time to be doing the cards, the weekly, on YouTube any longer. And I had so much technical issues uploading um, and then it crashing that there's only so many hours in a day. So thank you for those that have listened, uh, liked or shared over the 12 months that I have done this. I'll do it today and we'll see what the views we get from it. But I will do what I call just a black face or just my face where you'll hear the daily forecast on here. I may consider just doing that, but there'll be no visual of the cards. It will just be a rerun of like a picture as I tell you what I feel the forecast is coming up. I hope those of you that have struggled are keeping well. This is the theme for today is rock the boat. So, you know, if you're in your little boat of life, you're going to have to hold on to the sides. Where we are now in the aspect, we're all bubbling up towards what I call a darker sense with the moon. Scorpio likes the dark side of the corner. So if you're in a room with the light on, Scorpio will be standing in that corner where they're in the shadow because it's always about the darkness within Scorpio. So some of you this morning may have got up feeling a little weird. The darkness can set in. Scorpio, I've said, likes that dark corner of the room. So you may all feel like retreating in the next day or so. As we're getting ready to hit the solar eclipse tomorrow, the 23rd for some, it's the 24th in Scorpio so emotions will be running high over the next few days so it is hold on tight remember every aspect every moon sign that we pass is only for a couple of days so if you feel very down and negative and some of you will you will kind of think oh blimey let's go back to bed try and give an emphasis that it will pass over the next 48 hours we start to to close doors over the next few days and the Sun and Venus are about to go into Scorpio so what are you eclipsing out there is a lot to get to the bottom of we need answers you're all going to be looking for answers we're still in a Mercury retrograde so all is not going to be clear at this point there'll still be a final chapter that comes in by that 10th of November extra strength as the energies will be shifting and changing as new chapters are on the horizon so as your boat hits a little current in life that may well have some big swings and turns hold on tight because you've got to get through these currents and tides to go through into new opportunities that will be presenting themselves go with the flow that will be you know it, it will be a bit of a weird day spaced out floating for some very unsure because there's going to be some deeper emotions and a need for change in all our lives which are it is like you're standing on the edge just like the end of a cliff do I jump do I stay very unsure you may well feel that nervous like you are about to make the biggest jump or biggest decision of your life today especially with relationships because we're in the final day or the last day of Libra which rules relationships partnerships anything legal court systems if you're waiting on court cases this is the last day where anything can happen it's still that spontaneous but that anything that you're on us can make your nervous system kind of on edge it can be unexpected news but standing on the edge do I jump do I stay mercury retrograde will make your mind so unsure I would advise anybody not to do anything unless they're hundred percent sure at this point you know it, it is very much about reaching out to others um, don't be afraid to hold or do some hand holding uh, because these aren't what I call easy days as we pass through into the darkness of Scorpio over the next couple of days and into the light out to the other side which can take four or five days to do sometimes but I do think the weekend will feel a little bit lighter and easier a day where yeah excitement and surprises can be in store so it's not all doom and gloom, but a day where spontaneity can be there. So get ready for those doors that are opening. Watch your reactions to others. Because for some with the Mars energy, it could be passion. 
I've noticed a lot of people being quite aggressive and quite rude and quite wanting it now. So Mars is obviously not being passionate with them. It's been aggressive. So I will say, mind how you go, but watch how you react to others because your patience may be short. You may want to rock someone else's boat with a snap and with a flick of the tongue. So just be prepared and watch for that. Look how the weather has changed recently, all worldwide, but with me in the UK, the winds, the howls yesterday, the Cosmo is brewing up a storm in, in the Cosmo, in the dance floor of life, but also in your lives, because this is the great awakening of the doors opening to eclipse out the old and to suck out of you what was no longer serving you in order to make new for a new land, a new way. Venus the goddess of love, income, money, female. It's going into Scorpio, which is about manipulation, love, sex, um, intimacy, divorce. So there's going to be some pushes in that area, as well as the sun highlighting Scorpio that loves love, it loves sex, it loves passion. So hot relationships could be coming out on the other side going through into next week. So hang on on there for those people who are loving for the looking for the relationships and looking for the love in them lives have a wonderful day and remember the theme is rock the boat or hang on to your boat of life as it goes down that stream or could be a big cascade of water coming your way but i do feel in one way or another let the day go with the flow rather than make any big decisions or aspects Thank you for listening and again, once again, hope you are all well out there. Take care from the Cosmo.